Okay, what I'd like to show you now is a demonstration of how the diacetyl M builds up in the, the fracture, and we use that build up to seal the fracture over time. I have a standard API cell, obviously here. I have my backup screen, the, the standard API filter paper, 2.7 microns, my gasket, and, and in this case, we're substituting a plexiglass uh, container for the standard cell. Okay, I'm going to pour my diacetyl M slurry into this. This is a 50 pound per barrel, one lab barrel. Come back here. Okay, now I'm going to put a beaker in here to collect the filtrate. And then I'll repeat the steps with the others. Then in the last one, I'm going to actually put some drilling fluid to show you the, how that will not have much filtration. They've all blown out now. Set this one aside. Okay, this is going to get blown out real well. But as you'll see here, I've got a relatively thick filter cake that is pretty strong. And these two samples will work with a little differently. This one I'm going to take and just pour the fluid right back in it. To show you that, that diacetyl M itself has very little fluid loss control. And on the last one, I'm going to put some, some drilling fluid this is a simple 10 pound per barrel uh, bentonite with a, half, a three quarters of a pound of drift pack regular and a little bit of, of uh, half a pound of drill thin in there to give it some color so we can kind of see what's going on. Now what we'll see here as I put pressure on these, is this one. <sighs> will just barely drip. The other one will, will have a very good flow. You can see the water flowing down. down. It has slowed a, a little bit just from the volume uh, and the compaction of the diacetylm cake. This one is just barely dripping. You can see the drips in the deal. And what we're doing is we're compressing that filter cake like we would compress it back into formation and start sealing it up. And the drilling fluid itself will make the actual uh, seal and let you regain circulation. You can see the, the mud itself, it, if we ran this a full 30 minutes, would be about a 10, pound, uh, 10 ml fluid loss the API fluid loss. You can see we've squeezed out a little bit more water out of that as we put pressure on the cake. If you're in a downhole situation and you're putting more hydrostatic head, the cake would pack up tighter and we would squeeze even more water out of it. See this one's still flowing good. This one is down to just just drops if you can see that. This one is about to blow out. A few more seconds.
This one, we still have plenty of, of mud, very little volume left. One without mud. You can see this is a fairly strong filter cake. It's very thick, more pressure, it becomes stronger. The, as you saw on the, the Dicel M, provided the, the backup, the mud sealed it. The cake is, is stronger because it's had the full 100 PSI on it now. As you can see, the filter cake is, is compacted very tight. We had the full 100 PSI on it from the, the filter cell. If you were under downhole conditions and put more pressure, this would strengthen even more. The drilling fluid has not penetrated the diacillium uh, cake at all, but it did form the final seal. So you have fluid loss, uh, some flow down around the side because the cake shrinks a little bit as it dewatered there. There's some flowed across the bottom and left as it came across, but it did seal there as well. And in this case, you would now be able to go back and you've reestablished circulation and would be able to start drilling again.